Meanwhile, two weeks after people, 3,000 tons of rubbish lies uncollected in Hollywood. Some sewer systems deliver the rubbish directly to the ocean, where it will add to the floating heap of detritus in the middle of the Pacific. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch, halfway between San Francisco and Hawaii, contains three and a half million tons of nearly indestructible plastic waste, a floating dump twice the size of Texas. After people, how long will it take before the Pacific Ocean is free of our refuse? One hundred years after people, man's legacy is fading in some places and growing in others. A water bottle from the California coast will float for many years before it's sucked into the Great Pacific garbage patch. Still expanding, as more plastic refuse from North America, China and Japan arrives, the century-old plastic materials will remain intact far into the future. Because of the durability of some of the plastics that we have produced, we will actually see evidence of those outlasting the evidence of the substantial buildings that we've built in steel and concrete and timber. Little has changed in the Great Pacific garbage patch. Over centuries, the sunlight causes the plastic to photodegrade into smaller and smaller compounds. Now, it's a poisonous stew containing immeasurable toxins like PCBs. Ocean creatures and birds continue to ingest the plastic soup, and the garbage patch lives on long after people. <laughs>